Hello, I'm Paul Licamelli, and this video demonstrates scrubbing in Audacity, an experimental feature I have built based on the source code for version 2.1.0. See the links accompanying this video if you wish to acquire the source code for Audacity and for this project. Here we see the beginning of a famous piece of music. There are at least three ways you can play a part of it. One is to select some and press the play button. Another way is to make a selection and press the other play button here. That button has an associated slider which allows you to change the speed of the playback, thus twice as fast and an octave higher. Let me change that back to normal now. Yet another way is to click, drag, and release up here in the time ruler. Another way, not available in the multi-tool, is to use control click to jump wherever you want. Well, scrubbing gives me yet another way to play some by clicking and dragging with the mouse in the wave area. Play begins wherever I click and continues until I release the mouse or until the sweeping green line catches up with the cursor. I've not yet released the mouse. I can move it again and play resumes. and play can even go backwards. And reverse direction rapidly. Notice I did not add any buttons to the tools toolbar here. Scrubbing is available whenever you're in the multi-tool, as now, or in the Selection tool. Scrubbing uses the middle mouse button, which was not previously used for anything else in those tools, so there is no conflict with the left mouse button. The middle mouse button may not be most convenient on all computers, such as laptops with touchpads with only two buttons, but I've found it is very convenient with a mouse like mine, in which the middle button is also a scroll wheel. As you may know, the scroll wheel in Audacity already lets you do this. Change magnification if you hold the control key as you roll the wheel. Well, you can do that as you scrub. You can see that this is very useful because the purpose of scrubbing is often to find something and you want to zoom in on it as you find it. So scrubbing and zooming in are easily combined into one motion. You also notice that when I am zoomed in very close, playback may be at less than normal speed because the green line is catching up to my cursor most of the time. Making this variable speed playback work was the hardest part of this project. Scrubbing may also proceed at more than normal speed. Let's change this slider to 2. Now listen. The slider on the transcription toolbar thus determines the speed limit. In this case, double normal speed, one octave higher. But that's only the speed limit that applies when you begin scrubbing. You can change the speed limit during the scrub, again with the mouse wheel, if you do not hold down the control key. So listen to this. Pretty 
ominous sounding, that. Thus you see, whenever you change the maximum speed, it appears briefly in red. I've arranged the scale of speeds to be exponential. Every fourth click of the mouse wheel doubles or halves the speed, so moving the pitches up or down one octave. Every single click moves you three semitones. Thus I have a way to pass quickly over things that are less interesting and slow down when I think something needs more attention. But scrubbing also gives me another means of passing rapidly over sections. Listen to this. That's what happens if you hold the shift key as you scrub. Then the speed limit is ignored, but what gets played back, though at normal speed, is many small slices of the audio and always something very close to the cursor. The green line never lags it very far. This is similar to the Seek button on a CD player. It's also possible to press and release the shift as you go, thus alternating between the two kinds of scrubbing. I think the first kind of rapid play can be useful when you don't know what you're listening for, but want to pass through at maybe twice normal speed, say, and slow down when something jumps out at you. For instance, with what I do, editing narration, part of the job is proofing. I need to listen for errors while I follow the script with my eyes. It can be helpful to buzz through it quickly, slow down when I hear an error. I think the other kind of rapid play might be useful when you do know what you're listening for, but you don't remember exactly where it is, such as locating a certain instrumental solo. Wait a minute. I think that's where he is. Let's hear that again. Hmm. <laughs> there. And so you see, using the middle mouse button, the scroll wheel, the shift key, the control key, and the existing slider on the transcription toolbar, I've put together what I hope is a very versatile and convenient navigational aid. Well, that sounds like the concluding chords of this demo. <laughs> Wait a minute! I think this piece has gone into overtime! And what was that? Can we have the instant replay on that, please? There are
are still more features to be described here. Double-clicking with the middle mouse button starts another kind of scrubbing, in which the green play indicator, as you see, remains at the midpoint of the screen. And speed can be varied much more smoothly by the position of the mouse, which does not determine the target of the scrub, it determines the speed of the scrub. Watch closely how the speed, indicated in green, not red, varies with the mouse position. Did you notice there are broad areas at the two extremes where you can make the speed equal to 2, which is the maximum currently set by the transcription toolbar slider? And there's a broad area in the middle of the right half and the middle of the left half where you can easily hit speed of 1. Let's see that in action again. And as you see, using the scroll wheel to change the maximum speed during this scrub also works. Double-click scrubbing also works with the shift key down, and this makes it much easier to skip through the track at a uniform rate, because the amount that you skip depends upon the distance between the mouse and the playhead, the green line, which remains still so you can easily move farther from that line to accelerate the rate of skip and move back to decelerate and hold steady to skip at a constant rate. So, observe. This makes it clear that the double-click scrubbing alternative makes it possible to set your zoom level to something convenient first, but then have the freedom to scrub far and wide over the entire track and still find what you like and stop when you find it. And that, for real, is my demo. Thanks for listening, and forgive me, Ludwig.